Hello everybody! Today I'm going to teach you how to make a chiffon maxi skirt with a built-in short slip. So what you're going to need is some pinking shears, some elastic, a pin cushion with pins in it, a lining, a chiffon that is see-through, I mean most chiffons are, but make sure it is, a matching thread to go with all of it, a tape measure, a cutting mat, some scissors or a rotary cutter, and that is all you'll need. And a sewing machine, actually. <laughs> now cut your lining to your desired length. I got three yards of the lining and three yards of the chiffon. I am leaving the chiffon the full length that it is, which is 44 inches, but I want kind of a see-through leg thing going on, so I am cutting the lining to 19 inches. Now, I'm 5'8", so leaving the chiffon full length works for me, and cutting the lining also worked for me for 19. You can see in the beginning of the video where I show you the skirt and the end that it is on the short side. Yes, there is the chiffon, but if I bend over, it's a little showy, so I will have to wear some Spanx. I wish I would have cut it just a little bit longer. Now make sure you pink all of your edges because both of these fabrics will fray. Now choose which edge is going to be your bottom and iron it down for a hem on the chiffon and do the same thing on your lining. Remember, they are both three yards long, so you're gonna do it on the three yard length edge is what you are ironing down for your hem. You're not doing the short end, you're doing the long one. And you don't have to iron, it just makes it so, so much easier to sew if it is kind of stabilized in place. Now sew your hems. And sew closest to your pinked edge. It just looks a little nicer and also just make sure that it is even as you go. So try to keep your presser foot an equal length from the fold the entire time. Also, as always, make a knot at the beginning and end of your seams by going backwards and forwards with your machine. So do this for both your lining and your chiffon. Now, if you did not cut the best or it didn't come in the best of you know, evenness, just clean up your seams by using your pinking shears and cutting close to your hemline. Now lay out with your chiffon on the bottom and your lining on the top and you are matching up the opposite side of the skirt. This is what's gonna be your waistline. So not the edges that you already hemmed and not the sides. You're doing the long way on the opposite and you're making them match up the lining and the chiffon. So the lining should end about a third to halfway down the chiffon depending on the length that you chose for your lining. The fabric is facing towards you. So on your hems, you are seeing the raw edges you want to have nice side of the fabric facing the table right now. We are working on the inside portion of the skirt. Now you're going to line up the sides. We haven't touched the sides other than pinking them yet. So lay out the chiffon, then make sure that the lining bottoms match and the chiffon bottoms match. If you didn't cut super straight, that's okay. You can just cut off the top where it's not evened up. The part that is important is the bottom hem and the lining hem, because that you will see. You can't fix that after you sew that. So try to make those line up as best as possible. 
And just to clarify, everything is inside out right now. So your layers should be lining, chiffon, chiffon, lining. And all of your hems should be facing the way that will face your body. Now, sew that seam. And this will end up being our back center seam. We're only gonna have one side seam on this particular skirt. It does not have to be close to the edge because we're gonna trim it up and make it look nice. So now that the whole seam is done, do the same thing we did on the hemmed edges and just cut close to your sewed line. Just makes it look a little cleaner and a little more professional. And remember to do your pinking shears with all of this because it just helps it not fray. If you have a serger, you can do that. You can do a zigzag, but I just feel like the pinking shears are nice, quick, and easy. Now, cut off the top of any uneven stuff, and this is the only edge that is not sewn yet. Your bottoms have hems, your back is sewn together, now you have to take care of the top. And we're gonna roll that down, and you're rolling it so it's on the inside. So our lining is facing closest to us because when we roll it inside out, the chiffon will be on the outside. So just roll it down and pin it so that it is wide enough for your elastic to fit. And it is totally dependent on what kind of elastic you bought. So mine is a thinner, but not the thinnest elastic, and it is suggested for waistbands. So just roll it down. You can always roll a little extra. Just make sure that when you roll it, you're not making everything too short by rolling it too far. And then get out your elastic and make sure that it will still fit in there. And when you sew it, make sure that you leave a couple inches right at the center back seam, because that's where we're gonna insert the elastic. So go almost all the way around, but leave that little section unsewn, or else you'll have nowhere to stick your elastic into. So sew closest to the pinked edge, you wanna have that pocket, and if you go too close to the rolled edge, then you will have nowhere to stick it in. That's what she said. Now cut the elastic to your natural waist. You can literally just pull around your waist, see how much it is, cut it. It is very stretchy, so it doesn't have to be exact. It just has to be close enough that it will fit snugly. Now put a safety pin on one end of your elastic and put a straight pin on the other end. And the end that is not safety pinned, just anchor it onto the skirt. You just don't wanna lose the end inside of the waistband. Now thread your elastic through the waistband, the safety pin side, and just go all the way around and keep gathering until it comes out the other end of the hole. Now that it's out, pin them together and sew it together. So I sew a line in the middle. I sew a line at one edge and another edge because I've overlapped my elastic. So there will be three seams in all that I put on my elastic. And it's really just making sure that it's secure. There are not some wonky edges and make sure when you sew it together that it is not rolled at any point. Make sure your elastic is flat all the way around. Now, tuck that elastic inside the waistband and finish your seam on the waistband and it should be able to flow freely within the waistband. Trim up all your threads and then even out all of your gathering. And then you're done. You have your complete fashion forward skirt. And if you already have a shorter slip that you wanna use, you can always just do the chiffon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, tell your friend about this. This is such an easy sewing project and it looks super fashionable and your friends will be envious and it is inexpensive because you did it yourself.